Hello and welcome to this chapter Time and Work. I hope you have seen my previous videos on arithmetic and especially the ones on ratio proportion and time and speed and distance. If you've not, I would request you to pause the video here, go back to those videos and then come back. For folks who have watched my previous videos would also have realized that I am not a big fan of equations and nor do I like solving complex calculations. So in this chapter also, we'll do a smarter uh, method and we'll learn a smarter concept to solve time and work questions. So by the end of this video, you will gain an understanding of the concept of time and work and how to solve these questions using the concept of LCM and ratios. You will also gain an understanding about pipes and cisterns. And more importantly, I can promise you that if you keep an open mind and really learn the method that I'm teaching here, you can solve every time and work question in the exam within 15 to 20 seconds. So let's get started. The first concept that I will talk to you would be the concept of efficiency. That means, what is efficiency? Now, efficiency is a very simple concept and used routinely. Efficiency is nothing but work done upon time taken. That means, this is the rate of doing work. Now, you can say efficiency, some people call it productivity. Productivity, some people can also call it as capacity although I prefer to call it as efficiency. That means the speed, the rate of doing work. So for example, let's say you are currently working on a assignment. Okay. So, and let's assume that you're copying the assignment from your friend. Now, not the best of the examples, but let's say for example, right? So you're copying uh, from your friend notes and what you're doing is your speed of doing the work, that means your efficiency of doing the work is, let's say you are able to copy 5 pages per hour. So this is really what, this is your efficiency. If I ask you, how much work will you be able to do in 2 hours? So this is simple, here you can see using this formula, what would that be? So your work would be nothing but efficiency which is 5 pages per hour into 2 hours that means total units of work would be how much it is 10 correct that means you will be able to write 10 pages in those 2 hours now how they will do in the exam is that they may add a few more variables so they may say while it's a let's say it's a 20 pager assignment that you have to do okay and let's say one of your really good friend comes along and he says, dude, I'm going to help you. And let's say the speed of that person is also, let's say, five pages per hour. So now they will ask you, in how many hours will you both working together will be able to finish the work? So that's very simple. Now let's say your speed is five right plus your friends efficiency is also 5 that means you will be able to do 10 pages per hour so in how much time will you take to actually complete the assignment this would be 20 this is the total work that has to be done upon 10 which is how much time you will take 2 hours so concepts like these okay now can you draw an analogy to the concept that we studied in our previous videos that means we studied speed is nothing but speed is distance upon time isn't it don't you think it is this is similar that means this is also your sort of rate of doing work or sort of your speed and work is nothing but the distance right so the same concept and using the concept of proportionality you will also realize that for constant work your time and efficiency have an inverse ratio that means if the work is constant if you take more time that means your efficiency is less or if you you take less time that means your efficiency is more isn't it right we can derive this so this is the only concept that we'll use to solve the questions as we go ahead so what we'll do 
we'll solve a few questions so let's approach a question this question says if a can finish a work in 15 days and b can finish the same work in 10 days how long will they take to finish the work if they're working together so first step that you will do in these questions is the first step what you'll do you will take the lcm of the work in how many days they are able to do the work now concept is simple there is this is no rocket science what we are doing is why we are taking the lcm we want to reduce our calculations as much because i don't want to get into things like per day efficiency is 1 by 15 if he finishes the entire work in 15 days and similarly this is 1 by 10 i don't want to get into that i am saying let's take the lcm of 15 and 10 and let's assume the total work to be that right total work always assume as the lcm okay so let's say lcm of these numbers right which is 15 and 10 now this is very simple lcm comes to 30 so we have assumed the total work to be 30 units okay now what i'll do now i'll calculate the second step i'll calculate the efficiencies of these people okay that means a's efficiency if i have to calculate a's efficiency would be how much this is if he does this whole work in 15 days that means 30 upon 15 that means his efficiency would be two units of work he'll be able to do per day and similarly efficiency of b would be how much total unit of work is 30 upon how many days he takes to finish that 10 days so that means efficiency of b would be three units per day now the question says if they work together right now we will just approach the question and the question says what question says if they both work together how many days will they take to finish the work so what we will do in one day a will do two units of work and b will do three units of work that means per day your efficiency is five units we also know total work is how much total work is 30 that means how many days you will take you will say your total work which is 30 upon your efficiency which is 5 so answer should be 6 so very very simple same approach we'll use in the other questions as well okay so this says 20 men take 30 days to complete a job so now simple how we calculate work right work is how many let's say number of men isn't it into number of men into their efficiency it could be efficiency also right and let's say into number of days they work if they give hours also we can take hours as well right but this is typically the formula right very very simple this is all common sense so they're saying 20 men take 30 days so they have not mentioned about efficiency so we'll assume efficiency is constant and let's say one is the efficiency right let's for example so here 20 men if they take 30 days to complete a work assuming that efficiency of all men is equal so you will say total work would be how much 20 men into 30 days that means total work is nothing but 600 correct according to this question is how long will 50 men take to complete the same job now total work is how much 600 how long will 50 men take that means now again using the same formula so what will you do efficiency even if you keep efficiency as x this will get cut but ultimately how will you do you will say days days equals to total work which is 600 upon now how many men are there 50 men correct how much would this be 5 into 12 so extremely extremely easy right very very simple moving on to the next question okay now sometimes what they can also say is they can say one person is more efficient than the other and uh, if this one does in so many days how much will the other one do or how much time they'll take if they all work together so here we're saying mike and harvey okay so mike is 50 percent more efficient than harvey that means whatever efficiency of harvey is let's say x right mike's efficiency would be 1.5x would you agree with me but do i want to get into this x or y no right so what i'll do is i'll assume that 
Harvey's efficiency is whatever and then Mike's is 50% more. So using the concept of ratio I'll assume, let's say Harvey's efficiency is 2. So Mike's efficiency would be 3. Are you with me? So that means if I have to calculate efficiency of Mike and Harvey, I have already calculated 3 is to 2. Now the question is, if Harvey can complete a piece of work in 30 days, if Harvey can do this work in 30 days, that means total work would be how much? This would be 30 into 2, which is your 60. That means 60 units of total work. So the question is, how much time, how many days they'll take to complete the same piece of work working together? Total work is 60. And if Harvey's speed or efficiency is 2 and this one says 3, their combined speed would be 5. So 60 by 5. How much is that oral? This is 12. So again, like I said, would not take more than 50, 20 seconds to solve these questions because you're not getting into X and Y, you're not getting into 1 by 30 and 1 by 20 and all of that. So this is extremely, extremely easy. Now we'll switch gears a little bit and we'll move to the a different concept, although is used in time and work itself. So sometimes they will give you questions like pipes and cisterns. Now nothing to get scared. We know what is a pipe, we know what is a cistern. So let's say there's a big cistern, right? A big tank of water, right? And what they'll say is they're saying this cistern contains water and has to be filled. So they may say there's a pipe right through which water uh, flows inside and they're saying this pipe is A. And they're saying this pipe can fill this tank in 25 days, okay? They may also include another variable. They may say, sorry, there's another pipe. And let's say we say this pipe is B. And they're saying this takes whatever, let's say 15 days. Okay. This takes 25 days. And they're saying these are two pipes. So if this takes 25 days, this takes 15 days. If I open both the pipes together, how much uh, time will they take to finish, uh, you know, complete this, right? Or per day, what is the unit of work that they, uh, you know, complete, things like that. Or they may say, there's another outlet pipe, another uh, thing they're introducing to confuse you more, but this is extremely easy. So they're saying now there's also an outlet pipe. Now, while the previous ones were your inlet pipe, that means through which water was flowing inside, this is a outlet pipe. That means water is going out. So they're saying, and if this opened alone can empty this, tank now empty this tank in 20 days so the question is what do you think how much time uh, will they take to empty or fill this tank now again common sense so what you'll do is first thing that you do is you take lcm lcm of what lcm of 25 15 and 20 why because this you will assume as the total work right like how we did previously total work meaning the total units of water in this case, right? So 25, 15 and 20. You can also take in, take a multiple of this, but multiple would be quite big, right? So you will assume a number which can, uh, you know, cut this equally, right? Okay. Now what you do next? So let's say if I say, uh, let's assume this is 300, right? Okay. So that means what? That means if I assume this to be 300, right? Because I want to... Uh, ease out my calculations that means can i calculate efficiencies of these people right efficiencies of a b and c would be how much a's would be how much 25 uh, into 300 right so this would be 25 into 400 that means this would be 12 this means 12 units right per day and the other one's efficiency would be 20 per day and the other ones would be 15 per day, right? This is their efficiency. Using the concept of proportion that I taught you, proportionality in time, speed and distance, you can also say that if this is their efficiency, this is the speed, you can also calculate, this is their time they are taking, you can also say inverse or reverse of that would be their efficiency and which is how we got this, okay? Now, we will do what? Once we calculated the efficiency, now we will just see and see how much time it will take. So per day, if you have to, let's say calculate only per day, what will happen? So per day, what you're doing is pipe A will put 12 water, 
pipe B will put 20 water while pipe C will do what? It will reduce 15 water, isn't it? 20 plus 12, 32 minus 15. So this is your 17. That means 17 units of uh, water per day, right? So this is very, very simple, okay? Now let's attempt a question on the same. This says type tap P can fill a tank in six hours, okay? And tap Q can empty the same tank in nine hours. So what I'll do first thing is total work or total unit of water I will assume to be LCM of 6 and 9. So in this case, how much would that be? LCM of 6 comma 9. Okay. So let's assume this is, let's say this is 18. This is the total unit of work. Now what I'll do is I'll calculate efficiency of tap P. Okay. P's efficiency would be how much? If he does 18 units of work in 6 hours, that means 18 by 6, the efficiency is 3. Correct? 3 units per hour, isn't it? Similarly, the efficiency of Q would be how much? This one takes 9 hours, that means 18 units upon 9 hours, meaning this is 2 units per hour. Now the question is, if both the tanks are opened simultaneously and one is filling, the other is emptying. So please remember, this Q is emptying, that means this is minus 2. This is not plus 2, huh? always remember, don't make this mistake. So that means per day, how much work is getting done? So I'll say per day, how much is units of water is? It's actually 3 minus 2. That means per day, one unit is getting filled. Total unit I have to fill in is how much? 18. So if how long will it take? That means 18 is to be filled and per day, I take 1. That means how many days I'll take? I'll take 18 hours, sorry, right? Not days, yeah. So answer would be 18 hours. So this was extremely simple, right? We use the concept of LCM proportionality and really covered this chapter. So I feel you're extremely confident now and you can attack any questions on time and work in the exam. So thanks for watching the video. Look forward to seeing you in the next video.